Hey there, it's Matt Rayfield from MattRayfield.com. Actually, it's MattRayfield.com, but it redirects. Anyways, today I got a video about the ANET A8. And when you get this printer, you see that there's a lot of people online that have all kinds of upgrades you can do for it. A lot of awesome stuff. Things you can print, things to make it better in various ways. But today I want to tell you about what I think is the first upgrade that you should do. Uh, it's totally free. It's free in money and in filament. You won't be printing anything to do this upgrade, but it has many benefits. And that upgrade is updating the firmware on your ANET to Marlin, which is an open source uh, firmware. And it's actually the firmware that the firmware that comes on the ANET is based on, but that's an old version of it. And Marlin is constantly evolving and you need to put the fresh version on there because you're going to get lots of benefits. Um, especially if you want to install a sensor, a bed leveling sensor. You'll see a lot of things online about installing something called Skynet. And Skynet was a modified version of Marlin, but even that's out of date too. And at the time, I think when Skynet came out, Marlin didn't have um, kind of support for ANET built in, but now it does. Uh, it has support for the A8 and the A10. It has example configurations for both. So it's, a, it's an easy upgrade to do. I'm going to show you how to do it here. Um, but I want to tell you the three reasons I think you should do it first. So those reasons are, number one is you can install it in such a way that you have something called manual bed leveling. Um, and that's different than what you know, you're instructed to do with, with the screw and the headache and the paper. It's a little better than that. Um, it's actually a, a bed leveling, a software bed leveling that you do through the menu of the LCD screen. So once you have Marlin installed with that, you'll have a bed leveling option. You go in there, you say level the bed, the print head moves to a spot on the board, you adjust up and down on the buttons with, with using a piece of paper as a feeler, um, adjust it you know, up and down the Z axis, get that in, hit OK, moves to the next one, do the same thing, and it does that on a grid of nine spots on the bed. So then it uses that when you're printing to level the bed um, in software. And it makes things a lot easier than whenever there's a problem with bed leveling, having to break out the screwdriver and all the junk. Especially if you, if you want to print on glass, because then your screws are underneath the bed, depending on how you have it set up, and it's a pain in the butt. So it's just so much nicer to have that software option. And then when you want to upgrade to a sensor later, you could do that. So that's number one. Number two reason that Marlin is, should be number one on your upgrade list is protection, safety. The ANET has a reputation, all cheap Chinese printers have a reputation for catching on fire. And it's not a joke, it's, it's something that happens. I will show you this right here. This is a connector that um, was my um, heated bed connector. And I was printing with it a couple days ago and I noticed smoke coming out of it. <laughs> and I kind of thought, uh, I don't know, that's a little smoke. It's okay, it'll be all right. And I waited, and um, then, then the bed stopped working. Now, that's one way that it can overheat. The other, I mean, I guess there's lots of ways your printer could catch on fire, but two major ways is something like that with the heated bed, and then two is with the hot end itself, that the, uh, either the sensor or the, I don't know, I forget what you call it, but the thing that gets hot, the heating element, one of those can fall out of the block. And then what happens is, because the sensor is not there to check the temperature of the hot end, it's like over here, it thinks things are still cool, so it just pumps more heat into the heating element. And I've seen a video somewhere, I couldn't find it, or I would link it here, but I saw a video where that happened, they were, they were testing it, and the heating element got so hot that it just melted on out. So that is not what you want. That is seems like a sure way to catch everything in your house on fire. Um, and Marlin has protections in it so that when the, fir the software recognizes that, oh, I'm, I'm heating, I'm heating, I'm heating, I'm heating, and nothing's happening, that I should stop. And because I had it installed when my heated bed connector burnt, it actually did that. It actually stopped. It um, I was, like I said, because I was there, I saw it smoking and I was waiting to see because I wanted to get this print out. So I was waiting to see if it would still work and instead Marlin popped up a message that said, 
heater bed failed, um, you know, and it stopped. So that's 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 a major reason. That's number two of why you should upgrade to Marlin, the latest Marlin, because built in the ANET does not have those protections at all, and that and also the quality of the components leads you down a rather dangerous path. So you might as well you might as well upgrade that in software to, to help alleviate some of that fire starting ability of the ANET. And then number three I've got is just the upgrade path. So if you want to later on install a bed leveling sensor, which is actually why I, I installed Marlin in the first place was to install a BL touch. But if you want to install a bed leveling sensor or you want to do later down the road like um, you know multi-material or something like that or I've looked through the firmware. I mean, it even has things like there's a, some code in there for printing sugar or printing chocolate, which is pretty wild. Uh, it even has support for RGB lights. I didn't. That's kind of strange to me, built into the firmware. But hey, it's there. So there's all kinds of things you can do once you have Marlin installed that you wouldn't be able to do with the stock firmware. And so the third reason is just there is that upgradeability um, in software once you've got it installed. So it lets gives you gives you kind of a leg up on, on the upgrade path there. And that's it, I mean, it's a free upgrade. All you need is a USB cable and a computer and you can upgrade it yourself and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so first up, we're gonna download the Arduino software, Arduino IDE, and with this, we're gonna compile the firmware and also use this to transfer the firmware to our ANET A8's board. And just download that there. All right, and next up, we got to go to this GitHub repo, and all these links are in the description, by the way. Um, but this is the board definition. This is going to tell the Arduino IDE how to transfer the firmware over to our ANET. Uh, it's just a zip file, and I'll show you what to do with that in a second. Next up, we're going to go to the Marlin website and download the firmware's source code. It's a zip file. And once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and install the Arduino IDE. And I sped this up so you don't waste your time. All right. And next up, the ANET board definition. So it's just a zip file. It has a folder in there called hardware. And we're going to drag, uh, drag and drop that into the Arduino folder in the documents folder on your computer. And on Mac, it's a, basically the same thing. I think it's a documents folder. This is Windows, obviously, but these instructions are almost the same. So next up, we're going to um, unzip the Marlin firmware. There we go, got that. And we're gonna go into the example configurations. There's one already made for the ANET A8. Go in there and copy these two files. Then we're gonna go up a couple directories and paste them here and just overwrite what's there. All right. And now we're gonna open up the project file for Marlin itself, which will open up in the Arduino IDE. And once this is open, we're going to go to configuration.h up in that tab. And there's three things in here that we need to uncomment, three lines we need to activate. Uh, the first one is for bilinear bed leveling. So just search it here, find it, and uncomment that line. And then the next one is the LCD bed leveling option. This is going to add to the menu on our printer the option to do the bed leveling with the LCD. And then the last one is the probe manually option, which just tells the firmware that we don't have a sensor, but we want to do bed leveling manually through the menu. So we need to uncomment that. And then once you've done that, just make sure your printer is on and that the USB cable is plugged in. And once you're good with that, go up to tools. We need to check that ANET is selected as the board we're sending this to. And then also check the port. It's probably the only port in that menu. If not, you might have to try other ones. And then we're going to click upload. And it's going to compile. It's going to upload. And then when it's done uploading, your printer will restart and you're good to go. All right, so now that you've installed it, uh, you're going to get a menu, a new menu now on your LCD screen. And if you're coming from the, the previous firmware, which, which you are, uh, you'll notice that the interface is slightly different. Some of those things in the original ANET firmware were like, instead of the middle button to go into menus, you use the, the right button. Um, that's changed once you do Marlin. So it might take a little getting used to, but I think it's actually more sensical than it was with the ANET firmware. 
Um, but you're going to have a new bed leveling menu, which I'm going to show on the screen right now. And you can do that new bed leveling procedure. Um, everything else, the, the thermal runaway protection, that stuff's all built in. And uh, yeah, you've got yourself an upgraded printer now. Better software. Didn't cost you a dime, just cost you a few minutes of your time. Uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was useful to you. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace. That was weird. Peace. Peace. Oh, hey. If you, you like, like this video, video why, why don't, don't you leave it a like? like? And if you, you want to see more videos, why don't you subscribe, subscribe to my channel? Or, or check, check out MatthewRayfield.com for more content. Thanks, have a nice day.